But before we solve these problems, let's solve some exponential equations. Let's read about what they are. We're going to read where it says an exponential in a moment. But before we read, I want to pre-read this word or this statement right here that says, read after me, after me, constant factor. Constant factor. Variable exponent. Variable exponent. What do we say when we say variable? The variable means that we're talking about these letters of x. But what does x really mean? x means that we just don't know this number, right? And we're only a couple of seconds, a little bit of math away from knowing what that number is. So let's go ahead and let's read what we're going to do where it says solve. Ready? Read. Solve the What does that mean? That means that Mr. Chavez is going to do number one. That means that Mr. Chavez needs to find out what is that number. What does that number need to be so that 2 to this power, whatever we find it to be, equals 32. You guys want to see how I do it? It's a guess and check method. We're going to guess and check. I'm going to start testing out different options. I'm going to start with maybe it's 1. So write this down in your notes. Right underneath problem number 1 where you see 2 to the x equals 32, I want you guys to start writing down these notes. 2 to the first power equals 2. Am I at 32 yet? No, not yet. So what about 2 to the second power? Write down 2 to the second power, which is 2 times 2 equals 4. Am I there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there? Oh, okay, sorry. 2 to the third power equals 2 times 2 times 2, which is 8. Are we there yet? No. 2 to the fourth power equals what, students? 16. And 2 to the 5th power equals what, students? 32. 32. So what does that, what does that mean to me? Well, that means that I finally found my 32. And what was the power of 2 that made this equation true? The power of 2 is 5. So here's what I write down as my solution. x equals 5. Because 5 is what that x needs to be to make the equation true. And I want you guys to do problem number two on your whiteboard. Start out by writing the equation down at the top of your page, top of your whiteboard. 3 to the x power equals 27. So like my whiteboard has, if you just want an example. And here's the question you guys need to answer if it didn't already make sense to you. But here you go. It says, what power of 3 makes this equation true. What power is it? And so I want you guys to do the work, check with your neighbor, help them out if they need a little help. Nothing wrong with that. So I see you guys have started with the 3 to the first power equals 3, right? We're not there yet. Once you finally get down to it, I want you guys to put on your board, big, nice, x equals what? All right, on the count of three, let's see your whiteboards. Ready? In three, two, one, boards up. Turn to your neighbor, practice, rehearse. Why do you have this on your board? Uh, I'm just going to call on a number. Let's go with number 14. The solution was x is equal to 3, and I found it by doing the exponents 1, 2, and 3 until I got to the number. So students, you guys already know how to solve these type of exponential equations, but today we're going to solve problems using these type of equations, which means we're going to solve some real world problems. There's nothing about real world in here, right? These are just some numbers, and what does it really mean? Oh, nothing yet. So we're going to solve problems that mean something today. 